Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to Snapshot 18W08B. There's a lot to get to in this snapshot, so let's go ahead and get started. The first major change is to world generation, and that change is that ravines now appear in deserts and also in mesas. So you can see here, the ravines now cut through sandstone and sand, whereas before they never did. So you'll now see desert ravines like this one right here. We also finally now have a recipe this week for the dried kelp block, which looks like this. And if you remember correctly, that is made by smelting kelp in a furnace. And the dried kelp block itself is actually now one of the best fuel sources in the game. This can actually smelt 20 items with just one block. So this one block can smelt 20 items, which is as much as a blaze rod and a coal piece combined. And the recipe for this is you take nine dried kelp, just like this, and that gives you your dried kelp block. Another change in this week's snapshot is that respiration no longer directly affects your ability to see underwater. So if I go ahead and go underwater, this is with nothing on, this is what I see. If I go underwater with a respiration helmet, this is what I see, pretty much the same thing. Um, so yeah, the respiration does not really affect how far you can see. However, I want you to notice something. So when I go back under, take a look at how far I can see. So you can see, I can't really see too much around me at the moment, but give it a minute here, and you'll see that the longer I stay underwater, the better my underwater vision becomes. So we're just going to wait here a little, little bit. And yeah, you can see, I can now see a lot further. You can see some schools of fish around here. There's some cod over there swimming around. There's a puffer fish up here. There's some squid. We can now see the far shoreline across the way here and so you can see my vision is gradually becoming better and better underwater which I think is an amazing feature so now the longer you stay underwater the better your underwater vision becomes now that we've been underwater for a little while and we can now see clearly uh, you'll see if we go back above the surface of the ocean we will quickly lose our water vision and when we get back down here yeah we have to wait to regain that good underwater vision once again now that we can see clearly underwater, you might notice a couple of things. First of all, the sand on the ocean floor. Sand is now found on the ocean floor in both warm and lukewarm ocean biomes. And you can see we are in deep lukewarm ocean at the moment. And they've also removed the deep warm ocean biome. So you'll only now find shallow warm ocean biomes. In addition, you might see a couple of other mobs around here. And that is because they have added fish mobs, actual fish mobs to the game. You can see this is the pufferfish mob right there. You see, yeah, the pufferfish puffs up at times, which is kind of awesome. It makes a cool sound, too. There you go. <laughs> so that's the pufferfish right there. All right, guys, so I've switched to survival here. I just want to show you what happens when you get too close to a pufferfish in survival. So let's just take a look here. Here's a pufferfish right over here. If you get too close, it'll puff up. Just like that, and then if you actually run into it, you'll see, yeah, you get poisoned for a few seconds here. So you gotta be a little bit careful around the pufferfish, because that will damage you somewhat. So the pufferfish will spawn in warm and lukewarm oceans. The cod, on the other hand, this fish right over here, will spawn in normal, cold, and lukewarm oceans. So like the moderate temperature oceans. And yeah, this is what the cod looks like right there and then finally we have the salmon so the salmon fish will spawn in frozen or cold oceans as well as rivers where we're at right now we're actually in a river at the moment so that is the salmon mob so a couple of things you might want to take note of the cod and the salmon usually like to swim in groups so you have a small school of cod or salmon whereas the puffer fish are usually sort of like the lone ranger they're sort of uh, separate from other members of their species. And it's also worth noting that they're not done yet. Uh, they're going to add more fish as well, like the clownfish will be added soon, as well as other tropical fish types. You can also catch fish in a bucket in this update, so if I go ahead and come on up to this school of cod, I'm going to try and catch one of these guys in a bucket. There we go. Cod bucket. So yeah, you can catch these fish. You can catch all the types of fish. Let me see if I can catch this puffer fish here real quick. There we go. Got him. Haha. <laughs> And I'll catch a salmon here in one of these rivers. Or likewise, I can go to a cold ocean biome like this and try to catch one here. 
And again, you gotta use a water bucket, and... There we go, got it, the salmon bucket. Okay, so, let's take these guys to the shore. And of course, once you catch your fish, you can put it into, for instance, an aquarium, like this, and the fish will actually be persistent, meaning when you go outside of the range or unload these chunks, the fish will still remain. So, there you have it right there. You can make yourself, you know, a little aquarium here. Put some kelp down there. You know, maybe bone meal the ground here and make yourself some seagrass like that. There you go. Got ourselves a very, very basic aquarium right here. And of course, if you wanted to, you can also place down the fish out of water. So just put down the fish and then take away the water. And you'll see the fish sort of flops around on its side as you'd expect a fish out of water too. And you can also do the same thing with cod. The cod sort of bounces around on its side and the puffer fish just bounces around like that. Now, of course, being out of water, the fish will start to take damage after a brief amount of time. Which you can see this salmon is starting to take damage here. And then after a brief time, yeah, once the salmon dies, it actually drops the salmon item. So we got some raw salmon here. And the cod will also drop cod, and the puffer fish will drop itself as an item right there. And all these icons are also new. So there's new raw salmon, new raw cod, and new puffer fish icon. So guys, that is going to be it for me from this snapshot. Very exciting to see the, all the new fish mobs. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see what they add in the near future. But for now, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Once again, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.